In the country of Georgia, workers in the port of Poti are in their 10th day of a strike. The port is along the Black Sea and an important gateway between Europe and Central Asia. Miners in Tikabuli and bus drivers in Tbilisi also went on strike yesterday. A wave of work stoppages has hit the country since the opposition coalition won the parliamentary elections last month. From Georgia, FSRN's MJ Del Valle reports. Across the country, thousands of workers are on strike. Protests from workers in the mining and electricity sectors started a few weeks ago and have spread to other sectors. In Poti, port workers continue more than a week of strikes. Temurisi Chinava says he's fighting for better conditions. The wages are low and the prices are high. The wages don't correspond with the prices. His colleague Iragli Gurgia told FSRN what this means for workers and their families. With my salary, it is very difficult to pay my taxes. If I pay them, then I cannot afford to repay my debts with the bank or my children's education. For many workers, bank loans are the only solution. Because Georgia imports most of the food it consumes, prices have increased. But for some, these strikes are not only about money. Ship mechanic Ilguja Angulatse says workers need to have contracts that assure them of their terms and status in their workplace. This is about wages and also about conditions. We feel like slaves. We don't feel like humans. Managers consider us slaves. Dozens of men join Angulatse in the unusually quiet port of Poti. It's one of the most important ports of the Black Sea, with goods shipped from and to Europe and Central Asia. It's about human relations and human nature. We are all Georgians. It's in our blood to have honest relations with each other. So far, negotiations with APM Terminals, the company that runs the port, are at a deadlock. Georgia's President Mikhail Saakashvili pursued fierce economic deregulation, which in the end has been detrimental to workers' rights. Nadia Katsitatze, member of the Georgian Young Lawyers Association, says there are too many shortcomings in Georgia's labor code. So the current, the main problem with the current labor code is that that an employer can terminate the contract at any moment uh, and there is no obligation from um, their side to notify the employee in advance um, and uh, the only obligation of the of the company is that they should give one month's salary as a compensation after this dismissal. Uh, in fact, um, uh, the current labor code of Georgia is more oriented for the protection of the rights of the employers rather than the employees. So the labor code uh, has to be revised to give more protection uh, of the rights of the employees. So why are workers protesting now if this problem has been going on for years? For Angulatse, the answer is very clear. Before we were scared, there was fear to protest, but with the new government we feel safer and more free. Some workers still feel that fear. Many declined in their views for this story. Miners in Kibuli went on strike too, and so did Tbilisi's bus drivers, who are asking for their salary to be doubled and the working conditions to be improved. The company says it cannot afford it, but workers say they will continue with their demands. The coalition in government, George and Dream, has promised to reform the country's labor code, but it has also said that the investors' interest must be taken into account. MJ Del Valle, FSRN, Georgia.